Good morning and welcome to the Bulldog Morning News Show, the place for you to find out about everything going on out here at McCracken Middle School. I am Ariana and I am a sixth grader here at McCracken Middle School. Good morning, McCracken. I am Savannah Johns, your morning news host. Let's get today started. I would like to invite you to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance and pl please pause for a moment of silence afterwards. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tutoring will be taking place on Monday through Thursday afternoons. Students on campus should report to the cafeteria for a snack right after school is over. Virtual students for after school tutoring should log on by 4 o'clock. Tutoring will last until 5.30 each day. There are no tutoring on Friday. Here are the latest updates in our McCracken Sports News. The track and field team will attend the county championship track meet on Wednesday, March 31st, beginning at 6 o'clock over at Will Branch High School track. This week, our boys' baseball team will face off against Bluffton Middle School on Tuesday at 5.30. They will play over at Bluffton Middle School's field. On Thursday, they will play Bluffton Middle again in a home game for us to be held at the River Ridge Academy field at 5.30. The girls' softball team will not have any games this week, but they will continue with practices. Bluffton boys' tennis won their region matchup with Cullerton County 5-1. to one. Winning fourth place at singles was William Zenziden with, with scores of 6-2 and 6-2 for his matches. This Friday, April 2nd, we will have no school since it is Good Friday. Spring break will begin with a half day. Early dismiss dismissal on Friday, April 9th, and then the school will be closed April 12th to 16th for spring break week. Students will return on Monday, April 19th. Good morning, Bulldog Nation. I'm Hannah Patterson, the autism teacher here at McCracken Middle School. April is Autism Awareness Month, and April 1st is the day we light it up blue for autism. I encourage you to wear a blue top with uniform bottoms on Thursday, April 1st to support those we know and love with autism. Autism is considered to be a spectrum, which means that no two people on the spectrum are alike. Autism looks different for each person that has it. My favorite explanation is an acronym for autism, which states always unique, totally interesting, and sometimes mysterious. There are some really cool things about people with autism, like their ability to memorize things, deconstruct ideas, and a lack of concern for what others may think about them. But there are also some things that can make autism challenging, like difficulty communicating, making and keeping friends, and sensory issues. During April, we want to show support and acceptance of those on the spectrum, offer words of encouragement, small acts of kindness, and wear blue to show you care. Right, let's get up to historical fiction with the 9-11. Um, We've got Alan Gratz's new Ground Zero is in. We've got The Resistance by Jennifer Nelson. We ha this one's getting a lot of good nods too. The Dr We Dream of Space. Okay, and this one is the Newberry Honor Book. And Mrs. Conley and I are loving this. We love the story Little Women. We've got a special edition of Little Women. We've got some great horror books. Guys, if you were here last year, you remember me reading uh, Patrick Corman's 315, where the story started with a little bit, then you read the story, and then you went online and saw the ending. So we have a copy of that finally in. This one's a great ghost tale, Wait Till Helen Comes. The Forgotten Girl, this one was big at our book fair in the spring last year. We also have a lot of good adventure books. This one I'm excited to read about too. This one is called The Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. 
and that looks really great. It's soon going to be a Netflix film because you know how they take all the great books and turn them into series or movies. Um, last year, I introduced you guys to Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus. And Dusty Bowling, the author of that, has this new one out, Canyon's Edge. All right. So we have lots of great books for you to read. We cannot wait for you to get down here and check them out. Remember our new books, we try to keep them over here on these two shelves. Oh, I almost forgot. We've got more graphic novels. Stay tuned and I'll hook you up with those. All right, so here's our graphic novels. The sequel to New Kid, Class Act. We got a few more copies of that one in by Jerry Craft. That one is awesome. We've got Space Boy. We've got All Together Now. We've got a new series out of the My Hero Academia books, Vigilantes. And then we also have this other one in My Hero Academia Smash series. They've got a couple of different series in that one. Um, this one is also an honor book, When Stars Are Scattered. We got the new Babysitter's Club. This is Boy Crazy Stacy, and I believe the newest one, Logan Likes Marianne, is on the way with the next order. We've got a new Hilo. We've got the new Dave Pilkey Dog Man. And finally, we've got the Lauren Tarshis. They've taken her books now, the I Survive series, and turned them into graphic novels. So this one is on the Shark Attacks of 1916. So I didn't have enough room with the new books, so I put these over here with the graphic novels. But we hope you'll get on down here and check these great books out, read them, and let us know what you think. Good morning, McCracken Bulldogs. I am Mrs. Maddox, and we are here this morning again to talk about acceptance. Today, I encourage you to accept who you are while you are working on changing the things that you can and come to peace with yourself for what you cannot change. So my challenge to you today is to spend more time getting to know and accepting who your friends are right now than wasting your time trying to change them into what you want them to be. So we encourage you to be accepting. Have a good day, McCracken. See you next time.